2012, the Mayan people said the world was going to end. Sounds like a crazy idea, right? Well, in 2012, we had an idea that was just as crazy. Welcome to SuckOnThatJulesLun.com. My name's Fitzy. And this is Tommy. Now, before we tell you what this is all about, we first want to share with you three facts about each other so that you can get to know us a little better. Now, Fitz, you're going first. No, I don't as want always. to. No. You're going first. I'm not, I want to go. He's going first. Okay. Now, as you can see, Tommy's pretty bossy. Now, Tommy likes to think he was once a professional dancer. Although, I think the correct turn of phrase is he was once actually a stripper. Now, Tommy's a personal trainer, but I don't understand why he continuously goes around and brags about the fact that he once won a pancake eating competition. <laughs> Fitz likes to come up with his own theories. He thinks that if you wear your hat low, people will assume you're famous. Now, Fitz can dance, which is why I constantly get asked by girls when we're out at a nightclub if he's gay or not. Sorry, boys, he ain't, but what I have come to conclude is that when Fitzy dances, he becomes gay from the waist down. Wish I knew then what I know now, but I, I... So the reason why Fitz shaves his head is because he thinks he looks bad with hair. He's pretty hard on himself, but I tend to agree. I am beautiful. So now you know who's behind Suck on That Jules Lund, but what the bloody hell is it? Firstly, don't get us wrong, Jules Lund is a dear friend. Actually, you might know him. He has a very boring job as a TV and radio presenter, which requires him to do a lot of mundane tasks. One day your life is going to flash before your very eyes. Better make sure it's worth watching. Oh, yeah. It's good to hang out danger, danger. Now, being in the media, Jules likes to think he's very fashion forward. And I think it's actually rubbing off on his beautiful wife and daughter. One thing you should know about Jules is that he loves a good practical joke. Am I there? Oh, are, you, are you scared? I haven't felt anything in about 20 years. You haven't won it? <laughs> but Jules is now at a time in his life where he has a little bit more commitment and responsibility than us. Uh -huh. It's fair to say that he can't just pack his bags and leave to America for a month of fun. But we can. And that is exactly what this is all about. Stop it. Stop that shit. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, to rub salt into the wound, as all good mates do, we decided to set up suckonthatjulesland.com because we didn't want Julesy to miss a thing. You could say it's a little taste of his own medicine. But the good thing is you guys can join us while we're tearing apart places like New York, Vegas, yeah. California, and anywhere in between. It all kicks off on the 27th of July, so stay updated through our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. We'll be posting heaps of photos and videos along the way, so you can live vicariously through us, like Jules will be doing. But until then, as the old saying goes, suck on that, Jules Lund. We had both never been to America, so before leaving, we decided to get some tips from a man who knows a thing or two about survival. Hello. I'm Bear Grylls. I've been to some of the most desert places on the planet. I've left revolver pinging off my head at 7am, pissed off some swans at Upper Park Lake, walked through a fountain, and updated my Facebook status 17 times in one day. All right, you boys have come to me for tips on survival. First step's going to be nutrition. Americans are known for having complete disregard for their body image. So obviously I've put together something here that you're going to find commonly in America, guys. So. Obviously you've got your classic peanut butter and jelly, which is always found in America, and your fluff, marshmallow fluff. Have a bite right now. Mm. Have a bite right now. Looks good. Oh. Can't we just eat some yeah. testicles or something? Like, yeah. that's disgusting, oh. man. If American TV shows are anything to go by, the inhabitants are gonna be extremely hostile. I'm gonna teach you the survival techniques you need in case you come across one of these beasts. All right, obviously when you're out here, you're gonna come into a threatening situation with a guido or guida. You need to know how to prepare yourself and handle yourself. That's why I brought the spray tan in the can. It's like their kryptonite. You gotta get them of what they like most. Spray them in the face. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what is that stuff? 
Spray tan the can. Spray tan the can, that's what Bear told me to spray in with, mate. It's all right. It looks good. It hurts. It's yeah. good stuff, it's okay. Does it come off? No. <laughs> Camouflage is absolutely imperative when you're blending in with these Americans. Tommy, Fitzy, it's time to see how my clothes fit on you. I'd like to see it. Bring on out. Oh, that is just great. Superb. I love it. Got that off a Sherpa in India. You guys have been horrendous students, but I think that still means you're a little bit more equipped to tackle the uh, American metropolis, so it's been great. We've got a photo of our mate here. Uh, we just wanted to know how you'd think he would go surviving in the USA for four weeks. Give it here right now. Judging by that terrible haircut there, as you can see, in his sloppy rig, he's got zero chance of survival. I thought so. Thought, yeah, we did. Yeah. Thanks, Bear. Make sure you watch the show, suck on that Jules Land. Visit online, suckonnaturalsland.com. Watch my show on SBS, 8.30 Monday. Watch it. Watch my fucking show. We now clearly had the skill set to survive a month in America. So it was time to say, suck on that Jules Land and jump on a jet plane. So it seems we've run into a little problem in New York City. For some reason, Americans are finding it hard to understand our accent. This can be devastating. Excuse me, do you know where I'd find a dummy? A dunny. What's that? Excuse me, mate. Do you know where I could find a dunny? A what? Dunny. A dunny. Excuse me, mate. Do you know where I'd find a dunny? A what? A dunny. A dunny? No, no, like a dunny, like a like where I can take a leak. Do you know where I could find a dunny? A what? A dunny. I don't know what that is. Uh, a can. You know, like. Let me take a slash. I gotta go. Do you know where I'd find a dunny? A what? A dunny. I just wondering if you knew where a Danny was. Uh, a Danny? A, a Danny, like a, a can. Okay, so that bear bloke clearly knew nothing. No, but we did manage to learn along the way. Yeah, and for the fact that we had the underwear situation covered. As you know, a necessity for any kind of travel is good underwear and plenty of it. We're all lucky enough to be sponsored by Underbrats for our trip, under the proviso that we shared the brand with New York City. Hey mate, how you going? You got pretzels? Nothing seems to ever change Two things our dear friend Jules Lund loves. Number one, New York City. Number two, food. Uh, we're just doing a little behind the scenes tour here at Katz's Deli. Thought we'd get something to eat, so what better place? Uh, our main man is showing us around. How's it going? How you Th doing? This is the owner of Katz's Deli. What's your name? Jake. Jake. How's it going? Nice to meet you, and uh, we're here for Suck on That Jules Lund. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road. I wish you could be here, but I guess you can. This right here is where we do all the pastrami. Uh, and here are a couple hundred pounds of pastrami that are being steamed up right now. We got another uh, about, we go through about 15,000 pounds of that every week. It all comes right through here. It's all cut by hand right here. Not many people get to come back on, come back here. Suck on that. <laughs> So how long has it actually been here? I've been here 124 years. Wow. Um, at, uh, same location. We started across the street. Yeah. Moved over here. We've been doing it the same way since 1888. Awesome. So for the people in Australia, if they come to Katz's Deli, what should they eat? They should have a pastrami on rye, a little bit of mustard. Can't go wrong. Any of the hot meats, really, you can't go wrong. But for me, it's all about the pastrami. Is that the really big sandwich? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like this big, like the size of your head. You eat it for like a couple weeks. <laughs> Well, let's go and get one now. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Enjoy your meal, guys. I think you've got one thing to say, don't you? Uh, suck on it. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> suck on naturals, Lon, from Katz's Deli. From all your friends here at Katz's Deli, suck on naturals. After a massive week in New York City, we thought it'd be only fair to give Jules a taste of what we'd experienced so far. Hey Julesy, just check in, six nights, New York City, done and dusted. Not much to report really, it's been pretty boring. Hang on, hang on a second, there was that baseball game you went to the other night. Suck on that Julesy. Oh yeah, and that Suck on that Jules Lund single that we released. Suck on that Jules Lund. Suck on that Jules But apart from that, mate, the weather's been absolutely terrible. We've been jet lagged most of the time. Ready, set, let's go. Dance for pro. I know, you know, I go psycho when my new joint hit. Just can't sit. Gotta get jiggy with it. That's it, honey. And we were planning on spreading the suck on that Jules Lung message, but that didn't exactly go to plan. From New York City cab drivers, suck on that Jules Lund. <laughs> suck on that Jules Lund from Katz's Deli. Jules Lund from Down Under, suck on that. <laughs> anyway, mate, we're off to Vegas now for four nights. Fingers crossed we can have a better time there. See you, buddy. Las Vegas, where do we start? I don't know, it all seems like a blur. Yeah, true, but luckily we put together this video as a sweet reminder. Hey Julesy, we've been in Vegas for the last four nights. We've got a couple of highlights. We took a chopper over the Hoover Dam and had a kick of the foot in the Grand Canyon. We saw the famous Bellagio Fountain. But most of our time was spent just chilling by the pool. Vegas is weird, mate. We got kicked out of a nightclub just for getting our photo taken. But whatever you've heard about that place being wild, it's not true. Anyway, Julesy, we're in San Diego for the next couple of nights. We'll keep you posted. That video took us almost a week to put together. Let's just say productivity after four nights in Sin City was at an all-time low. Thankfully, we had a couple of nights in San Diego to recharge the batteries. Yeah. Tommy showed me how good he was at surfing. And we were finally back on track and ready to hit our second last destination. Hey Julesy, just wanted to say, suck, suck on, on that, that from Venice, Venice Beach. Beach. What advice can you give my good friend Jules Lund? Who's Jules? This guy here? No, he's back home in Australia. I don't know. Well, Jules, you know, first thing you got to do is come to the States. Yeah. Then you got to turn gay and be a prostitute. And then after that, you know, to stay, t you know, seeing a prostitute, you're going to be a drug addict anyway. Yeah. So, you know, start doing heroin and methamphetamine. So, how much do you reckon this guy can bench? It's, uh, nothing. Do you reckon he's got a six pack? No, fat pack, zero <laughs> pack. You gotta understand, it's not just shitty advice, Jules. That's real. 
shitty advice. You know what? Suck on that juice, man. I'm chilling with my boy Fizzy and Tommy, man. I'm sitting here getting it in, man. Y'all know what the deal is. Fucking real nigga, man. Suck on that juice, man. Venice Beach. A shitty advice guy. Suck on that Jules lawn from Venice Beach. <laughs> Got faith in you. Sadly, at this point, we only had one more place to visit. After almost four weeks in the States, we thought we should finish the trip on a slightly classier note. We hit the road and traveled an hour outside San Francisco to the one and only Napa Valley. Tommy met our tour guide for the day and managed to get us off to a great start. All right, John. No, John. <laughs> Ken. Ken. <laughs> So if someone comes to the Napa Valley and, and does a St. Helena wine tours, which yeah. is your company, what can they expect to have for a day? What do they do? Well, typically we pick up uh, clients around 10 o'clock and, and uh, go to uh, a couple wineries and we figure out, you know, lunch. Um, and the, and uh, pretty much from 10 to 4 or 5 is, is a typical wine tour per day. Um, if we, they last that long? Uh, the most of them do. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them have been in training, you know, yeah, before yeah. they come out. Yeah. Well, we've certainly been in training for the last few weeks, so it was about time to get this show on the road. John, I mean Ken, had organised our first stop at a winery by the name of Frank Family. Unfortunately, at Frank Family, we weren't allowed to film our tasting, but we did manage to learn a pretty cool party trick. And we also got to try something called a wine bong. You see that? First time we've had a wine bong, that's for sure. <laughs> I actually had an educational thing I'm trying to do here for you, so. <laughs> it was time to hit the road again. Our next stop was the Sterling Vineyard. Here we experience some amazing wines and breathtaking scenery. All was going swimmingly until I realised Tommy hadn't quite understood the whole concept of spitting your wine after tasting it. I think it was starting to go to his head. Wine tasting. It's lovely, isn't it? Love it. What kind of wine were you asking about? Ribena. Ribena? Ever Ribena? Ribena? Maybe Just, it's a, it's kind of, it's really dark. It's like a really dark colour. Let me, this is Napa Valley? Not too sure. I just, I, back in Australia, have it all the time. Oh, you know what? We're, we would call it something else. I bet you it's by the place it's from. They sell it a lot of places. Like, I just thought it might have been from over here as well. Never know. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll try some of this. So on that note, with no Ribena found and clearly not enough prior training, we decided to call it a day. There you have it, all done and dusted. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Make sure you share the video on your Facebook, your Twitter, with all your family and friends. The big question is, what did Jules Lund think of all this?